Hey, what up, Flav City family? It's Bobby, and fall is officially here, so spaghetti squash recipes are trending everywhere I look. But it just so happens that Desi and I have a collection of spaghetti squash recipes that are easy to make, meal prep friendly, and absolutely delicious. I mean, it's also coincidental that the spaghetti squash is in the shape of the football for college and pro football season, but I'm gonna show you how to break this down. I'm gonna show you recipes that are keto friendly, weight loss friendly, meal prepping for the week, and absolutely bomb. So before we do that, hook me up. Subscribe to our channel because Desi and I are rocking out recipes every single week to hook up our fellow meal preppers, and we would love for you to join the Flav City community. All right, first up, we're doing Greek chicken meal prep with spaghetti squash primavera. It's the juiciest ever bone-in, skin-on roasted chicken breast you could possibly make along with a roasted spaghetti squash with fennel, red pepper, herbs, and lemon. It's crazy easy to make. I know you're gonna love it, so here's how you do it. The safest way to cut a spaghetti squash is to line up your knife and then use a rolling pin to tap the knife through and keep your fingers out of the way. Scoop out all of the seeds. You can save those for roasting later on if you want. Transfer the spaghetti squash to a sheet tray and season with a drizzle of olive oil, a generous pinch of salt, and a few cracks of pepper and roast in a 400 degree oven for about 65 to 75 minutes. I've got five bone-on, skin-on chicken breasts. To make the Greek marinade, I'm gonna drizzle in some extra virgin olive oil into a bowl, then go in with dried thyme, dried oregano, and then grate a couple of cloves of garlic directly into the bowl. I like to use a microplaner here. Then add the zest of one lemon and the juice of a few lemons. Give that a good mix up. And then first season your chicken with a good amount of salt and pepper on both sides and then pour over the marinade and make sure the marinade is coating and touching every part of the chicken breast. And then toss that in the oven with the squash for just under one hour. Preheat a large pan with a good shot of olive oil, then go in with fennel, sliced red peppers, and red onions. That'll be the base for our primavera. The pinch of salt, a few cracks of pepper, and cook that for a good eight to 10 minutes. Then add a few cloves of garlic that are finely minced. Slice one spicy chili and add that to the pan. All right, let's grab our spaghetti squash out of the oven. See, and if you're not sure it's ready, just stab it with a knife a few times. If it goes in and out, it's ready. If it's still hard, put it back in the oven for a few more minutes. Break those beautiful strands of spaghetti out onto the board. And they come out really easily because the squash is nice and soft. Add that directly to the pan with the veggies. I roasted some grape tomatoes in the oven with some oil and some vinegar. They got nice and sweet. Go ahead and add that to the pan. Shake in some fresh parsley, some chopped and toasted walnuts for crunch, a little pinch of salt, the juice of half a lemon to wake up the flavors and give it a good mix up. Let's grab the chicken out. Now that's how you cook chicken breast, all right? Juicy on the bone. When you cut it in half, say goodbye to dried chicken breast. Those are juicy and will change your life. Add the chicken to a glass meal prep container along with a healthy portion of the spaghetti squash. And there it is five spaghetti squash meals for the week. Now, by the time this video is over, you will be a master of all things spaghetti squash. You will know how to cut it. You will know how to roast it. You'll know how to sleep with it at night. But one question I hear a lot is, can you, <laughs> Desi's laughing at that one. Can you cook this in the microwave? And the answer is yes. All you have to do is cut it in half, put it cut side down, poke some holes in this guy and cook it on high for about 15 minutes. How do I know this? Desi and I have firsthand experience doing that because a couple years ago, we were on a guy's grocery games with my brother for the family edition. We did that exact same method in the first round when you couldn't use any of the noodles. And we went on to the final round to win the show, win $18,000. And it was kind of a version of the Primavera that we just made. So you can go ahead and do that if you don't have an oven. The second recipe is roasted spaghetti squash with creamy ricotta pesto served with juicy pan seared shrimp. This pesto is not your average pesto. It's got herbs, it's got parsley, but it also has creamy ricotta cheese making it so darn luscious. The entire thing's gangbusters. Here's how you make it. Okay, you guys know the drill by now. Safely cut open that spaghetti squash. You're all pros. Scoop out those seeds. Obviously save them for roasting, like I said. A Little bit of olive oil a good pinch of salt and pepper, and chuck it in a 400 degree oven for about 70 to 75 minutes. In the meantime, let's make the pesto sauce by adding one cup of basil to a food processor, and then rip off about a cup of fresh parsley. Add that too. 
Give it a quick buzz up just to break down the leaves. Then add a quarter cup of chopped and toasted walnuts. You can also use pecans if you want. Add the zest of half a lemon and the juice of half two, along with a quarter teaspoon of salt and a few cracks of pepper. Don't forget about my garlic tip. Grate it on the microplaner. That way it gets nice and broken down. Slap on the lid to the chopper and blend away. And while the machine is going, drizzle in about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. That way it gets nice and emulsified and creamy. And it should look a little something like that. Just so fresh and delicious. And then I like to wait until the end to add the cheese. So grate in about a quarter cup of Parmesan or Pecorino Romano. Give it one more blitz up. And then I wanna make this one extra creamy. So I'm gonna add a good scoop of ricotta cheese. Give it one last mix up and look at that. Look at that color. Look at that texture. You just know it's gonna be good. The old knife trick to check the spaghetti squash. You guys, once again, are pros. Let it cool down for about 15 minutes. Otherwise you will burn your hand off and then rake it once again. Get those beautiful strands of spaghetti out. Add a generous amount of the creamy pesto to the spaghetti squash. Mix it up very well. Add the juice of half a lemon just to wake up the flavors and set it aside. All right, for the protein, we have some beautiful Key West Florida shrimp here. It's gonna season them with a little bit of avocado oil, a pinch of salt, and a few cracks of black pepper. And preheat a cast iron pan over medium high heat. Add the shrimp in one single layer. Don't overlap them, otherwise they end up boiling in their own juices. Slap down the splatter guard, let them go for about two minutes per side. Make sure not to overcook them, and then get them out and cook the second batch. And then remove those from the pan also. Plate up the spaghetti squash in a bowl. Look at that, nice and creamy. Top it off with some of the juicy shrimp. And there it is, you guys. Spaghetti squash meal prep with juicy shrimp. Meal prep for the week looking on point. Normally when you think about squash, you don't think about them being low carb or keto friendly, but this is one of the only squashes that is. A large spaghetti squash like this has about 15 grams of net carbs and only 200 calories. So it's great for keto, it's great for weight loss, and it's very, very versatile. The third recipe is my spice crusted yogurt marinated chicken thighs with a beautiful little pan sauce served with a roasted spaghetti squash with cheese, herbs, and chilies. It's really easy to make. The chicken thighs are juicy and absolutely gangbusters on flavor, and I know you're gonna love it. Here's how you do it. This recipe starts with 10 boneless and skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna season it up with a good pinch of smoked paprika and ground cumin. Then flip the chicken over and add more smoked paprika and ground cumin. And then we're gonna make the yogurt marinade with some full fat yogurt. Add the zest of one lemon and the juice of half a lemon. Grate a couple cloves of garlic using the microplane. See how it really breaks it down into a pulp? I love that. Go ahead and add it to the bowl. Shake in some freshly chopped parsley and then give that a really good mix up. Make sure to save some of that yogurt for dipping sauce later on. And then add the chicken to a zip top bag along with the marinade and then give it a nice soft tissue massage and coat it in all that yummy yogurt sauce and then set it aside for about 20 minutes. Once again, cut open the spaghetti squash the safe way by tapping a knife the long way of the spaghetti squash, keeping your fingers out of the way. Scoop out the seeds and then season the inside with a nice shot of olive oil, a generous pinch of salt and pepper, and then roast it in the oven for about 75 minutes. Getting back to the chicken, go ahead and wipe away any excess marinade. That yogurt's gonna burn in the hot pan if we leave it on. Season the chicken with some salt and pepper. Add a couple shots of oil to a preheating cast iron pan. Go ahead and add the chicken to the pan. Season the chicken with some salt and pepper. Let it cook for about five minutes. Throw it on the splatter guard so it doesn't make a mess. Let it cook for five minutes without touching it and then give it a flip. And look at that crust. The spice rub and the yogurt caramelize and it's so darn beautiful and crusty. Let it go another four minutes and then get it out of the pan. Perfectly cooked, juicy and layers of flavor. I love it. Let's make a really quick pan sauce by adding some chicken stock then scraping up all those yummy bits on the bottom of the pan. Let that cook for about five to seven minutes, then add some lemon zest to wake up the flavors and some lemon juice. All right, grab the squash out of the oven. Once again, give it a poke with a knife. If it goes in and out easily, it's ready. If not, chuck it back in the oven. Some fresh parsley, give it a mix up, and then pour that sauce all over the chicken thighs, adding more flavor and keeping them nice and juicy. 
Let the squash cool down for about 10 minutes, and then once again, grab a fork and rake out these spaghetti strands. And grate over a few tablespoons of Parmesan cheese or Pecorino Romano, some lemon zest for some nice acid. Add some roasted pepitas or pumpkin seeds for crunch, some parsley for some freshness, and then slice up a red chili, or you can use pepper flakes and add that to the bowl, along with a pinch of salt, a few cracks of pepper, and mix that up really well, and it's done. Add some yogurt down to a plate, place down some of the chicken thighs, and a nice healthy portion of the spaghetti squash with herbs and cheese. And then don't forget about your glass meal prep containers. And there you go, five delicious servings of meal prep for the week with chicken and roasted spaghetti squash. So there it is, my friends, three spaghetti squash meal prep recipes for the fall. All three recipes, along with the macros, heating, storage, all that good stuff is down in the description box. Click over to our website, I say click or click, click, <laughs> click over to our website, check it out. Desi and I just launched the new flavecity.com. So if you make these recipes, leave a review, rate the recipe. Um, also share this video, sharing is caring, spread this all along the interweb. If you wanna see two more pretty awesome videos, they are streaming below us right now, but we will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking mad love. Peace guys.